Christopher Lauer with D Digital, joined by Kerry, our Vice President of Operations, Melissa, our Lead Project Manager, and Garrett, Project Manager here at D Digital. Today, we're going to go over the benefits of professional web hosting. Garrett, do you want to start us? Yeah, yeah. So, professional web hosting um, is always kind of a topic everyone's always asking about. Do I really need to pay that much? Why can't I just do the cheapest plan? And one thing I always like to say right out of the gate is, you know, Look at it this way: you could you could spend less, but spend more time on you know your website, or you could spend a little bit more and spend a little less time on your website and more focused on running your business and you know and generating more leads and and traffic to to it itself. Um, you know some of those things you know include you know WordPress updates, automatic backups. You know if you need to you know stage your site, you know, you need, you need someone to check it out or diagnose it, creating a stage site and not using your live site um, can save a lot of, a lot of time and headaches. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are a couple of things of, of what, you know, doing uh, managed hosting is versus shared hosting. You know, I always like to say again, spend, spend more and spend more. If you spend more, you get to spend more time focusing on your business uh, and less time trying to fix the website. Yeah. And I, I think, you know, there's, if you have a hobby site or you're just kind of trying out a business idea, then you can probably get away with the cheapest site, but uh, I mean the cheapest plan, but if you're, um, if your website uh, generates revenue for you, or if it's very important that your website stays up and is reliable, then you'll want a managed hosting plan um, on a good server that's not overloaded with um, other sites and, um, you want to make sure that you have backups. Um, I've actually had a client before who completely lost their website because they were not, not that there's anything wrong with GoDaddy, but they didn't realize they weren't paying for backups with GoDaddy. That's actually a separate charge and they lost their site and it couldn't be recovered. <laughs> and that's just tragic, especially if your business, you know, re needs your website to, to function. Um, and then also the uh, the better servers and the better hosting companies allow you to create that staging site, like Garrett was saying, that's like a, a dev site. So you can spin up a copy of your live site and work on that and make sure that your live site isn't affected while you're trying something out. And that's, you know, to ensure you don't have any interruptions. Um, and then also, you know, monitoring your site um, if you're, you know, hopefully your site doesn't go down if it's on a reputable provider, but if it does, you know, the better ones will actually, you know, send you a notification. And, um, and if, it, if you were to host with us, we monitor all of our sites. So often we're already working on it. If, if something were, if there were a blip in your site, hopefully you wouldn't even notice cause we would have it fixed before, um, you know, before anybody would even notice. Yeah, one of the things I always think about is, I mean, if you break it down, really, what do you think, how do you think that $5 a month is, is being utilized? That $5 a month has to cover the electricity costs for the server, has to cover the rental, you know, for um, the building the server's in, the equipment, the actual costs. It has to cover support staff um, to run the servers or to help a person if something goes wrong and still make a profit. Um, when you think about all those things, do, 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 do you really think you're getting quality at a $5 a month? Yeah. It, it just doesn't seem logical. I think to Carrie's point, if it's a hobby site, if you're just testing out ideas, yeah, that's great. But if you're a real business um, and you're making profit from your website and it's important, um, it just seems like a bad idea to trust a $5 a month hosting. Yeah, I mean, and, and with, you know, with, you know, that extra cost, you, you're getting a team, you know, a lot of managed support, you know, has 24 seven support. So if something goes down, you have the ability to reach out to them and they'll look into what's going on with the site. And most times it, it can be, you know, the hosting themselves that need to fix something, you know, that might have happened. Other times they may say, no, the problem's this. And then you need to take that information and, and take it to a developer or whoever you may have on staff or, or if you have to, you know, reach out to third party, they can get those things uh, squared away for you. 
So how would you respond to a someone coming up to you and saying, well, my business has been on, you know, this $5 a month posting for, you know, 10 years and it's fine. It, it works. Our website's up. Look, I just went to it. Well, I, I would probably start by asking, you know, does your site generate, does it generate, you know, money? Does it generate leads? Uh, you know, what's, you know, what's the size of your site? How large is the site? Because, because all of those things are factored into, you know, what's worth, you know, what's like cost, the value of cost of hosting is always factored all, all along a lot on those things themselves. So, I mean, if you're a business, you say, I've been, I've paid for $5 hosting for the last 10 years. I haven't had any issues. You know, that's a, that, that's great for you. We don't see that very often anymore, but you know, as you tend to grow, um, you know, your sites, I, I'd probably just say, you know, how, how much has your site changed over the last 10 years of it, you know, too. Is all kind of factor in. I would also wonder if their hosting it could be preventing their growth. You know, if they have a high time to first bite and the SEO ramifications for that, and where you know they could be potentially gain additional business from organic search results, but because of poor performance on their server, it, it might be holding them back and costing them money without realizing it's costing them money. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else anyone would add? I, guess I would just follow up with like the initial com comments from Garrett, where uh, you know time is time is kind of money, and when you're you're a business owner and and your site has gone down, I don't know a lot of serious business owners who have the time then to log into you know whichever service they're using, get on with the support wait how long it may be you don't know it could be 20 minutes it could be six hours and chat with that support person and try to figure out what your problem is um it's just it's so much worth it in the end to to have the support you need um you can't go wrong yeah, I agree. We, I, I always hear nightmare stories about how long someone's been on support when something goes wrong. Um, some of those um, less expensive server server hosting providers, and uh, it could be a real nightmare. All right, so we, we know why we shouldn't, or why it might not make sense for a business to utilize a five dollar a month hosting provider. Um, maybe you guys didn't speak to be digital and how and what we provide as professional hosting provider. Sure. Um, so we're an agency. So we have on staff, you know, designers, developers, uh, and support uh, folks and marketing. So if they're, when we host your site, um, we have you on a, um, a good performing server, um, but we also have, you know, automatic updates. So we keep your WordPress core and plugins updated. Um, we have daily backups. Um, we have support staff, so you can call or email anytime um, if you have a question or if if, um, if you want to add something to your site. Um, we do monitoring of the website, so you know if there is an issue, we'll probably know about it before you do and and fix it. Um, and you know because we're not just a host, we're an agency. We have developers on staff that can jump on it and fix a problem. Versus if you go with a DIY kind of hosting provider, they don't do development work. So they, they can just basically turn the server on and off. You know, they can handle server issues, but not coding issues. And we can do both. Did I miss Which anything? is important because, um, you know, WordPress is always updating. Plugins are always updating. And the yeah. smallest change can break a site. And you may think it's your hosting, but it's it's likely because something was updated which is why, you know, backups, being able to revert back to an update, uh, you know, in a second to bring back the site up is very important. True. It also provides staging environments. You know, uh, I forgot if you hit upon that, Carrie. No, I think I missed that. Right. So we, we do our updates um, on a staging site off of the live site. So we can test it first and then push to live um, to, you know, minimize the risk of taking your live site down during an update. 
And correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like we also utilize uptime robot. But I feel like I've seen notifications. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we use that. That's our monitoring tool so that we're informed. You know, if, if a site is down for a minute, we know about it and we jump on it. Well, thank you, Carrie, Melissa, and Garrett for joining me and sharing some of your thoughts on the benefits of professional web hosting. I think you all hit on some really helpful advice. For anyone looking to work with an award-winning web design and marketing company or looking for WordPress hosting, visit thedigital.com to view your portfolio and speak to one of our solution consultants about your project. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. See ya.